Trendelenburg gait. During the stance phase of the gait cycle, the gluteus medius works to maintain both hips at the same level. What is Trendelenburg gait? Trendelenburg gait is an abnormal gait that is usually found in people with weak abductor muscles of the hip which are supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. Here you can see a patient example of Trendelenburg gait. The patient could not abduct the right hip due to weakness of the abductor muscles on the right side. If the patient has weakness on the one side of the pelvis, and when the patient stands on that side, the pelvis on the contralateral side will drop. This is called the Trendelenburg sign. The gluteus medius is very important during the stance phase of the gait cycle in order to maintain both hips at the same level. The stance phase accounts for about 60% of the gait cycle. Three times the body weight is transmitted to the hip joint. The hip abductor actions account for two-thirds of the body weight. We identify the weakness stance phase if the pelvis drops to the opposite side. Here you can see an example of weakness of the abductor muscle as well as avulsion of the abductor muscle tendon. Weakness can also occur in patients with L5 radiculopathy or avulsion of the abductor muscle tendon which occurs with increasing frequency after hip replacement surgery. The superior gluteal nerve injury is a major factor in this gait. A positive Trendelenburg sign occurs when there is dysfunction of the adductor muscles and the body is unable to maintain the center of gravity on the side of the stance leg. The patient will show an excessive lateral lean to keep the center of gravity over the stance leg. Here you can see an example of a normal gait, a Trendelenburg gait, and the compensated Trendelenburg gait. With bilateral weakness of the abductor muscles, the patient will have dropping of the pelvis on both sides during walking, which leads to a waddling motion. This gait is seen in patients with myopathies. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.